If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose. Yes, in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I am bringing to you a washer and dryer makeover that you are not gonna believe. And I'm gonna do it for under the bargain price of $40 using something that you can get from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take these washers and dryers from being just everyday appliances to something so rustic and farmhouse, you are not gonna believe this. The outcome of these turned out amazing. I am super excited about them. And it really did bring these washer and dryers back to life and give them a whole new look. I can't wait to show you what I do with my washer and dryers. And this is one you are not gonna wanna miss. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it and let's do some DIYing and shush up my appliances. Because why not? Because we can. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. What are you doing, Fred? I gotta film. You can't stay there, baby. You can't stay there, love. What, you think you're gonna stay there? Oh, okay, well, Winnie. Fred. <laughs> Look at that spot on her nose. That's my spot. I kiss it every time. I love her. Okay, my love, you gotta go. Here is a closer look at my washer and dryer before. As these are not in bad condition at all, I want them to look rustic farmhouse to go with my laundry room. So to do that, I went on to dollartree.com and I looked up their wallpaper. This is a newer item that came out this past year. They come in several different styles. These wallpaper sheets are self-adhesive, which means the back is peel and stick. They measure out at 16 by 11 inches, which is a nice size. When you go onto dollartree.com, you can order them by the case. And so I went with 48, paid $60. And as it was $60, I didn't use all 48 of my peel and stick tiles. And so I didn't mind buying extra because I knew I could use these in a DIY. Like I said, the back peels off super easy and it is very sticky. I will tell you that now. I had planned ahead on how I wanted to do this. I didn't want any seams on the side of my washing machine. I wanted it to kind of go over the side. And so I knew ahead of time that I was just gonna cover the panels as they were on the washing machine. You can see that I kind of have a crease on my dryer there on the side. The washer is the same way, and so I wanted to hide and disguise any seams that the tiles would make when they come together. 
to my surprise, as I was putting these tiles on, it looked seamless, which means that the print job on this wallpaper is amazing because it was virtually invisible. You couldn't see the seams at all. The pieces lined up together nicely and these were designed in a way that if you needed to stack them or put them side by side, it would line up and it didn't look mismatched. The pattern continued on, which was perfect. And so like I said, I just went ahead and peeled off the back and started sticking away. It really was just as simple as that. I found that as I was doing this, that the easiest way to keep from getting those pesky air bubbles that we all know you get when you're putting down contact paper or a self-adhesive wallpaper like this one is to use one of those scrapers by Crafter Square that you can get at Dollar Tree. The scraper is typically used with the Cricut and crafting, but there are so many other amazing uses for this scraper. A credit card probably does the job, but this is a bit thicker and sturdier, and it really did help cut down on the amount of air bubbles that I had when I was laying down my sheets. Now I will tell you a hack to getting those air bubbles out if one gets past you is just to take a real fine needle, poke a hole in the top of that air bubble, allowing the air to escape and then you can easily smooth out where the air bubble was and nobody is none the wiser that it was once there. I found that when doing this, it was easiest to lay the full sheets that I could lay first and then go in and do those areas where I had to cut up some of the sheets of wallpaper. So here on the top, I just went ahead and filled those in. And as I did it, you will see on the top there that there is a lid. And this lid is for the steam fresh cycle on my dryer. So I don't have to iron. I can put water in there, put it on the steam fresh and it steams my clothes for me. And so I went right over that. Then using the scraper, once the wallpaper was laid down over that door, I guess, you would see the indentations of where the door opened. Then I went ahead and went in with a brand new blade in my safety razor and went ahead and cut. And it was really easy to do. I got nice clean lines and that way I had access to opening the steam fresh door and really that was how I did it. I didn't go around the door into the inside of it if that makes any sense. I just went right over the top and then just cut around it just so I had the capability of opening it up. I will say that there is or there was a bit of a learning curve when it came to wrapping my washer and dryer with this peel and stick wallpaper. You have these edges on the washer that kind of curve around and how do you get a wallpaper to set nicely on that without crinkling and wrinkling up? Just keep a razor on hand and on those areas where the paper kind of curves over the washer and dryer where you would typically fold a present that you're wrapping, well, you're gonna wanna slice your paper and just stick that piece down. It really is just as simple as that. If you go into this with the mind frame of wrapping a present, it really is easy. And I found that it wasn't hard at all. Areas like this maybe took me 10 minutes to cover and it wasn't all that bad at all and I don't think I really ended up with many wrinkles or crinkles in my paper at all. Another tip that I'll give you is when doing this, you really want to make sure that your wood is going in the same direction, that you're not cutting it sideways, and you really wanna try and get the pattern to match up as best as possible. It really wasn't hard to do. I found the easiest way to cut my wallpaper so I didn't have any waste was to use a cutting mat, a ruler, and a rotary cutter. And that way I got those nice clean straight lines and I really wasn't wasting any of my paper. Because by wasting paper, hi Winnie. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to work and the two doodles are just, what's going on in there, mom? I love them. 
Some might say, am I worried about this wallpaper sticking or coming up over a specific time period? I'm really not. This wallpaper really, really adhered well to the washer and dryer. And I will tell you that there were a couple times where I put it down and I actually rubbed it on because I thought I had it in place good and realized that it was kind of off a bit and I went to try and peel it up and it ripped. It was so well adhered onto the surface of the washer or dryer. And so I'm not really worried about it. I think that this is going to be something that is durable because it isn't paper, it's kind of like a laminate. So it is a wallpaper that you can wipe down and not worry about if you wipe it down that the print is gonna come off of it. And so yes, I think that this is perfect for covering the washer and dryer with. And I feel like it's a bit easier to use these sheets than a full roll of wallpaper because then I feel like a roll is harder to manage when you're sticking it on a bigger piece. And so the smaller pieces are easier to manage and you're gonna get a better position in doing it. And so yeah, that is just my opinion. And so I will say that the tools that you do need for this are scissors, a rotary cutter, a ruler, and a razor. And the razor is key. That scraper is key as well. And you can see just how easy this applies and how easy it is to get those nice clean lines. And that there is all there is to it. Peeling and sticking wallpaper sheets onto whatever appliance it is that you're applying them to. It was well worth the three hours it took me to do both my washer and dryer because the outcome is so rustic and so farmhouse. I love the look of these appliances in my laundry room. And I feel like this would be a perfect way to bring maybe a used washer and dryer that you might have purchased back to life again and make it your own. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Elizabeth Hernandez, who's bringing to us her DIY Easter wood plaque wall decor creations. Elizabeth, I am loving the fabric you chose. Thank you so much for sharing your creations with us today. I wasn't lying when I said I was gonna take these from looking like everyday appliances to something that is so rustic and farmhouse. I love the look that this wallpaper gives these just by wrapping them in it. And this is a wallpaper that you can get at Dollar Tree. They've got several different styles and it is so easy to do. And not only is it easy to do, but it is so budget friendly and how fun to do this to your appliances and put a new spin on them. I guarantee whoever sees whatever appliance you do, whether it's a washer, a dryer, a refrigerator, is definitely gonna ask where you got it and how you did it and they're gonna love it. And they're gonna love it so much that they're gonna wanna do it too. I hope you all enjoyed the makeover that I did, the rustic makeover that I did on my washer and dryer. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, and I know I do sound like a broken record, but each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, well, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Happy everything on a budget. Happy DIY on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, because I am. Bye for now, everybody. <laughs>